What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Real Good Doty, coming at y'all with another video. It's been about two years since the last time I've uploaded to uh, my YouTube channel, but you can find me on Instagram, Real Good underscore Doty. Also, you can find me on a, a, another podcast that I'm active on. It's called Tales from the Crib. We do gaming, uh, we do reaction videos, and we have our podcast as well. And every Wednesday, we do a uh, sports um, video on football as well on our picks and I actually lead that video so you can also find um, me on there as well. But today I'm going to be talking about the five common mistakes that men make um, when getting into relationships. So the first common mistakes that men make um, when getting into relationships is they lose purpose and when you lose purpose you lose your focus, you lose your why and your why is what keeps you going. Your why is, what were you brought on this earth to do? And I myself have fallen victim to this because when you get in relationships, you know, like I said, you're comfortable a lot of times because you feel like, you know, you met that partner, you know, you're very happy and you're content. But I'm trying to tell you guys, being content is not always good because a lot of times when you're content, you lose your purpose. You must remain focused. You must remain in your masculine. You must remain knowing what it is that you want to do because that actually will attract a woman even more. Because when you're a guy who is centered and structured and doing things to better yourself each and every day, that's what women like. Because if you're someone that is not focused, and you're not centered, and you're allowing a woman to distract you from what it is that needs to be done, that woman is really gonna think you're weak. And they're gonna start to, just, they're gonna lose respect for you, and I'm actually gonna get in respect later, it's another topic, but they're gonna actually lose respect for you. And I myself have fallen victim to this. You know, I was in a relationship, you know, where I allowed you know, certain women that I dated at the time to prevent me from staying, you know, focused on my goal. And they ended up, of course, taking advantage of me because I wasn't confident in myself. I started to doubt myself. But now, of course, I'm out of those relationships. But you don't want to lose your focus. You don't want to lose your why. Stay focused, stay motivated, and do things that you need to do each and every day to get to where you want to be. Even though you don't want to do it, you must remain focused. Number two is lack of respect. Too many of us have dealt with women that don't respect us. And why do they not respect us? Is because we're not in our masculine. We don't put our foot down. Also, we're not focused on our goals. And that's something, like I said, I talked about uh, with the first example of not knowing your why. But you must learn to draw the line. You must put your foot down. Because if you allow you know, someone to disrespect you once, they're going to keep doing it. That's why after they disrespect you once, you got to be like, look, I'm not going to be spoken to like this. I don't have time for this type of behavior. I'm out. Suppose of letting him get away with it the first time, and then after that, again and again and again, and then it becomes a cycle, a repeated cycle, that's eventually going to turn into a very toxic relationship. It's going to be very draining, um, and it's probably not going to end up well. I can give you an example. I remember, you know, I was um, in a relationship, you know, when I dated a chick that put her hands on me. And instead of, you know, me ending it the first time, um, I gave her another chance because I thought that she was gonna change and she ended up hitting me again. And then I was done. But the fact that I allowed her a second chance after the first time already gave her the impression that she could do it again because she doesn't respect me. I've also had women yell at me in my own house. And instead of me ending it right then and there, I gave them another chance. And what happened? They did it again. So, fellas, 
Learn to put your foot down and don't tolerate any disrespect because you don't have time for that. Number three is dealing with a woman who, uh, I mean, number three is common mistake is we're dating someone who doesn't support us. Um, I myself have experienced this as well. I remember a couple years ago, I wanted to launch my clothing brand called Neighbor. I ended up doing one um, drop. That, you know, didn't do as well as I wanted it to do, but, you know, a couple of close friends and family members ended up showing love as well. And I remember, you know, I was working really, really, really hard, you know, trying to come up with the designs. I was working with a friend of mine at the time, who I no longer speak to. You know, we were spending hours, even nights, trying to, you know, come up with the design. And when I was literally trying to, you know, discuss it with her, she was literally trying to come up with all the negatives that goes along with creating a clothing brand. Like, you know, that's really hard. Or what about if you fail? Like, what else are you gonna do? And I, and I understand that you always gotta have a backup plan, but when that's something that you first resort to is, you know, what about if I fail? That's not the type of person you wanna be with. You wanna be with somebody that is going to be like, hey babe, that's what's up, that's badass. I really hope you succeed in this, you know? And even if you don't succeed in this, learn from this so therefore you know what to do the next time. Not dating someone, well, what about if you fail? Or you know, uh, you know, if you, you know how hard it is to be successful in that field? You don't need that type of stuff, fellas. You gotta make sure that you get someone that is supportive, okay? So number three is don't deal with someone who doesn't support you. Number four, is make sure that you date someone. I mean, number four is a mistake also that fellas make is getting involved with someone who doesn't know what they want. And this is big because I couldn't tell you, this has actually happened to me before, is when you invest your energy and your time into somebody who doesn't know what they want, they don't, want, they don't know where they're going to be living in the next couple of years. They don't know if they want marriage. They don't know if they want kids. And if you are someone that knows where you want to live, knows if you want kids, knows if you want marriage, but you're investing your energy in someone who doesn't know any of those things that I just listed, doesn't have those principles, then you're wasting your time. And I know that, you know, maybe you and, you know, the shorty that you're dating, y'all hitting it off pretty good. But if y'all both don't want the same things, you know, it's better to cut it off sooner than later. Because years can go by where you're investing your energy and your time into someone that doesn't want the same things as you. And it's going to be so hard for you to bounce back from that because you have programmed your mind that the person that you're with for all that time is the right one for you, but in reality, they're not the right one for you. They don't know what they want. You know what I'm saying? And you know what you want. And I myself had made that mistake. I ended up being with the girl for a year. I loved her, but she didn't want the same thing as me. She didn't know what she wanted. I knew what I wanted, and I had to end up letting it go. Yeah, it hurt. Yeah, it sucked. But I had to do what I had to do because I couldn't make the mistake in investing my energy and time with someone that didn't know what they want and didn't want the same things as me. So number four, fellas, is make sure that you invest your energy and time with someone that knows what they want because that will make everything more clear and help grow the relationship. And number five, and this is very, 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 very important, is make sure that your partner is in a good mental state. And also, guys, yeah, make sure that, you know, in relationships, yeah, your partner's in a good mental state. Because I can't tell you how many times, you know, I've dated women that, weren't in a good mental state, weren't doing anything to help them get in a good mental state. And a lot of times, the ones who are not in a good mental state 
will end up becoming narcissistic. They'll gaslight you. They'll start projecting. For those who don't know gaslighting is, is they'll make you doubt yourself when you know you're not wrong. Or they'll try to tell you something that you're doing when they're the ones who are really doing that themselves. That is what's called projection. And that also has to deal with not being good up here. Or there'll be type of, you know, women that you'll get involved with that are constantly depressed. Um, they might even be suicidal. Or they might just constantly just keep complaining about all the negative things in their life and taking all their frustration and anger out on you when you are the ones who are trying to be there for them. When you're the one who is confident in yourself. And those type of women will make you lose confidence. They will drain your energy. And even though those are the type of women that most men who are not and they're masculine, end up falling for, and end up, you know, um, going over the deep end, and some men en end up, you know, losing their life to depression, is because they get involved with someone who does not have good mental health. And that's why I highly advocate everyone to get help, you know? It could, you know, talk to somebody, do something to help you with your mental health. And that's why, guys, it's important for you to really get to know your partner to make sure that they are good mentally. Because if they're not good mentally and you yourself already battle for mental health issues, it's not going to be a good recipe. So I hope y'all gain value from this video. I'm going to start posting a lot more often. I'm also active on my Instagram as well. You can follow me uh, real good underscore Doty. I also have another podcast, like I had mentioned earlier in this video, uh, Tales from the Cribs. We do gaming, um, we do reaction videos, we also do a podcast, and we also do our sports video as well. So anyways, guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel, um, leave a thumbs up, and let me know what you think about this video, things I could work on. But I'm pretty much just trying to create a community. I'm located in San Antonio, Texas. I just want to help men become the greatest version of themselves as well, and also help men become better husbands, um, fathers as well, and boyfriends, you know, um, because like I said, um, the world needs us. But anyways, guys, that'll do it for this video. I love y'all. I'm out. Peace.